Hello everyone, this is Nidhi from Edureka and I welcome you all to Edureka's YouTube channel. In today's session, we are going to learn about Node.js. Before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on latest tech content from Edureka. Also remember to check out Edureka website for our training and certification courses. The link is in the description box below. Now let's outline what we will cover in this video. We will start with why you should learn Node.js and how it's transforming the backend development. Then we will dive into what Node.js is, its feature and what makes it so powerful. After that, we will move on to the applications of Node.js and then we will also explore the key components of Node.js, breaking down how it works under the hood. After that, we will look at the Express Framework, a popular tool built on Node.js that simplifies the backend development. Finally, we will discuss some exciting real-world use cases, including how major companies like Netflix and PayPal use Node.js to power their platforms. Now let's dive into why you should learn Node.js and explore its key advantages. The first one is scalability and performance. Node.js is built to handle large-scale applications seamlessly, making it good-to-go choice for the system that need to grow their user demand. The next one is end-to-end -end JavaScript. With Node.js, you can use the same language for both front-end and back-end, making the development process more unified and efficient. The other benefit is cost-effective. By using fewer servers and working with just one programming language, businesses can save a lot of development cost. The next one is real-time application. Node.js is perfect for building apps like chat platforms, online gaming, and collaborative tools where real-time updates are crucial. Next on, Node.js supports cross-platform development. This means you can create apps for Windows, macOS, and Linux with minimal extra effort. And finally, we have is faster development cycle. Its lightweight nature and rich library of NPM packages enables developers to build and deploy applications much faster. So as you can see, Node.js offers an impressive combination of speed, efficiency, and scalability making it an valuable tool for modern developers. Now let's understand what Node.js is. Node.js is a runtime environment that runs code on the server and facilitates seamless communication between the browsers and the database. So let's see how it works. The browser sends requests to the server. The server processes the request using the Node.js. Then it communicates with database to fetch or update the data before sending the response back to the browser. Now let's move forward and see why Node.js was created. Back in 2009, developers were frustrated because JavaScript could only run on the client side but not on the server side limiting its capabilities. Ryan Dell solved this problem by creating Node.js, a runtime environment that allows JavaScript to run on the both server side and the client side. This made JavaScript a full stack language usable for both client side and the server side applications. Now let's take a look at the architecture of Node.js. When the incoming request arrives, they first enter in the event queue. Node.js uses an event-driven architecture, so the event loop continuously monitors the queue for tasks. If the tasks require minimal computation like reading from memory, the event loop processes it immediately. However, if the task involve heavy operations like file I.O. or database queries, it is sent to the worker thread pool. This thread handles the complex work in background and sends the result back to the event loop which then responds to the client. This non-blocking mechanism makes Node.js highly effective and ideal for handling the multiple requests. Now that we have discussed the architecture of Node.js, let's move on to its applications. The applications of Node.js involves data streaming applications. Additionally, it's well suited for real-time streaming of data such as videos and audios. The next application is Chatbot. It is another application which is handling the real-time communication effectively, making it excellent for building chatbots and messaging apps. The next application is Queued I.O. Inputs. Node.js manages the task in non-blocking manner, ensuring high performance for queued inputs and outputs. The next one is Server-Side Proxy. Node.js can effectively handle multiple proxy requests and services making it a great choice for proxy-related tasks. The next one is REST APIs. 
It's perfect for creating robust and scalable APIs that connect various applications effectively. And the last one is complex SAPs. Node.js is ideal for building dynamic interactive web applications where the content updates seamlessly without reloading the page. So these applications highlight the versatility and power of Node.js across the various use cases. So now that we have explored the diverse applications of Node.js, let's dive into one of the most essential tools, NPM, the Node Package Manager. Node Package Manager or NPM is a powerful tool that simplifies the process of managing dependencies in Node.js projects. First, install packages effortlessly from the NPM registry. Whether it's utility or a library, everything is just one command away. Next, manage dependencies with ease. NPM keeps track of your installed packages and their versions in single package.json file, making your project organized and hassle-free. But that's not all. With NPM, you can run script to automate common tasks, start servers, run tests, or build an application in no time. And finally, share your packages with the world. Publish them to the NPM registry and contribute to the Node.js community. So now let's explore the core concepts of Node.js that makes it such a powerful platform. First, Node.js uses event-driven non-blocking I.O. model, allowing it to handle multiple tasks simultaneously without waiting for operations to complete. It also supports asynchronous operations ensuring faster and more efficient execution of running tasks in the background. With JavaScript end-to-end, -end, Node.js unifies front-end and back-end development, enabling developers to write seamlessly across the stack. Node.js has a rich ecosystem of modules, providing countless libraries to accelerate development. Finally, its cross-platform compatibility makes it versatile, running effortlessly on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Now let's take a quick look on the core components of Node.js that makes it so powerful. First on we have module and then the console. Next we have cluster. Moving on we have global objects and error handling. Then comes the streaming, DNS, followed by buffer and domain. And finally we have debugger. These components together make Node.js a robust runtime for building scalable applications. Now let's start by exploring the key components of Node.js, beginning with modules. Node.js modules are reusable blocks of JavaScript code that helps to structure the application by breaking them down into smaller and manageable pieces. They promote organization, enhance code reusability, and make dependency management more efficient. Node.js modules are categorized into two types. The core module, which are also known as built-in modules, and the user-defined modules that are created by developers to add the custom functionalities. The core modules of Node.js includes HTTP, Util, FS, URL, Query String, Stream, and Zlib. And this is how you can import the inbuilt modules into your applications. Require is used to load and import modules because it is built-in function for handling the common JS modules. Now let's move on to the next component, which is console. The console module in Node.js provides a simple debugging console similar to JavaScript console in web browsers. It allows you to print messages, errors, and warnings to the console, making it a valuable tool for debugging and logging. For instance, use console.log hello edureka will output hello edureka in the console. So the next one we have is cluster. Node.js operates on single-threaded event loop, which handles the multiple requests concurrently in one thread. However, this can limit the performance of multiple core systems. The cluster module addresses this by enabling the creation of multiple worker processes, each running independently on separate CPU core. This approach allows Node.js to fully utilize the system resources, enhancing the scalability and performance for high-demand applications. Now here is the code for you to add the cluster to your web application. So the next component that we have is global object. So now let's explore the global object in Node.js. It serves a global namespace, allowing you to access the variables and functions available throughout the application without needing to import them explicitly. These are some global objects that you can add to your applications, which includes dir name, which specifies the name of the directory 
that contains the code of the application. Then we have file name which specifies the file name of the code. Then on we have export, module and require. So the next component that we have is error handling. Error handling in Node.js ensures your application runs smoothly by catching and managing the unexpected issues. It uses the mechanisms like try catch blocks and even emitters to handle errors efficiently and maintain the stability. Node.js errors can be grouped into four types. The first one we have is a standard JavaScript error such as syntax error, type error and reference error. These usually occur due to coding mistakes. The next one we have is system errors which arises when the resource like files are missing. For example, attempting to access a non-existent file can trigger this error. So now moving on we have user specific errors which happens because of invalid inputs or unexpected user actions such as entering the wrong data type. Lastly we encounter the assertion errors which results from logical mistake or incorrect assumption in the code. Now here is the code for you to handle the errors using the try catch block in your applications. So the next component that we have is streaming. It is a powerful feature for processing the data efficiently. Streams can handle the data as a continuous flow, making them perfect for working with large files or real-time applications. For example, instead of loading an entire film into memory, Stream allows you to process it piece by piece. Now Stream comes in four types, each serving a unique purpose. The first one is readable streams. These allows you to read data chunk by chunk like reading a file line by line. The second one is writable streams. These enables you to write data piece by piece. These are ideal for tasks like logging or saving the files. The next one is duplex streams. These can both read and write the data simultaneously, making them perfect for two-way communication like chat application. The next one is transform stream. These modify or transform data as it flows such as compressing the files on a fly. So the next component that we have is buffer. Buffer in Node.js is used to handle the binary data directly, making them essential for working with the streams or the files. You can create an empty buffer of a specific size like this. Buffer.alloc10 which creates a buffer of length 10. Now let's move on to the next component which is domain. It is essentially a container that groups the related objects in the Node.js. This allows you to isolate error handlings and ensure the events are well managed for the specific set of objects. There are two methods for intercepting the errors within the domain. The first one is internal binding. This is when the error emitters run its code inside the error method of the domain. The next one is external binding. Here the error emitter is explicitly added to the domain using the add method. So the next component that we have is DNS. DNS in Node.js plays a crucial role in resolving the domain names to IP addresses. We use DNS for following purpose. First, it resolves domain name by converting human readable domain names into machine readable IP addresses. Next, it enables network communication allowing the device to communicate seamlessly over the internet. Additionally, it improves the user experience by ensuring website and services are accessible through the domain names, making them more user friendly. Moreover, it supports load balancing, distributing traffic across the multiple server based on the domain names to optimize the performance. Lastly, it enhances the security by implementing measures like DNS-based authentication and authorization. The next component that we have is debugger. The debug module provides a simple and flexible way to enable and disable debugging output in Node.js application. Just start your app with Node.js inspect file name and use the command like n to stop or c to continue the execution. So now that we have explored the core components of Node.js, let's take a step further and dive into the Express framework. Express.js is a lightweight Node.js framework that simplifies the creation of web applications and APIs. It streamlines the server-side development, allowing the developers to focus on building powerful scalable web applications quickly. Now let's have a look at some features of Express Framework. First we have routing which enables the efficient URL mapping. Then we have middleware which is great for executing the code during request response cycle. 
Next, it also supports static file serving, making it easy to serve assets like HTML, CSS, or images. Next, we have HTTP method support, simplifying the REST API development and JSON support for seamless data handling. Additionally, error handling ensures the robust application and security features keep your app safe from the threats. So that's it about the features of Express Framework. So now let's move forward and understand one basic program using Node.js. First of all, we have this var express. This line imports the Express.js module into Node.js application. Then on we have app.get method. This method is provided by Express.js to define a route handler for HTTP GET requests. These includes two objects, the request object and the response object. So the request object represents the incoming HTTP request from the client's browser. And the response object represents the HTTP response that will be sent back to the client. After that, we have var server. This code snippet starts with the express server, listens to the port 8081 and logs a message to the console once the server is ready to accept the request. At last, we have console.log. This line logs a message to the console indicating that the server is listening to the specified host and port. So now that we have a basic understanding about Node.js, let's have a look at some famous applications that are built on Node.js. So first of all, we have Netflix. Node.js is used in Netflix for faster startup time and efficient server-side rendering. Then on we have Groupon. Node.js is used in Groupon to streamline their development process with the unified language for front-end and the back-ends. Then on we have GoDaddy. Node.js is used in GoDaddy for handling the high traffic with reduced server costs. Then on we have LinkedIn. In LinkedIn, the Node.js is used to enhance the performance and reduce the server-side response time. Then on we have PayPal. And in PayPal, Node.js is used to unify the engineering team and double the development speed. Then on we have Walmart, and in Walmart, Node.js is used for its scalability and real-time data processing during high demands even. Then on we have Uber, and Node.js is used in Uber to handle millions of requests per second with asynchronous processing. And lastly, we have eBay, and in eBay, Node.js is used for its real-time updates. So this is why Node.js is a backbone of these global giants. So that's it for this video and in this video we went through all of the basic terms that you need to learn before starting Node.js. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment down any of your doubts and queries. We will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel to learn more. Happy learning!